Hey everybody, I'm your man Dennis Pittsburgher here, SEMA 2018 Power Auto Media in the Spall booth with my man Brett Chuck. How you doing so far? How's the action been in the booth? It's been very good. It's been a good show for us. Let's talk about your products overall. You call it Extreme Solutions for Cooling. Talk about that overall and what you guys bring to the table for either the avid racer, the hobbyist, or anyone in between. Sure. So we basically we've got a couple different kinds of product profiles that we have here. We've got our standard brushed fans. That's kind of like the old fashioned fans that people are used to, the on off control. And then what we're kind of showcasing here today is going to be our variable speed brushless fans. And for those that don't know, I think a lot of people get mixed up in terminology. Give me an education on brush versus brushless, the advantages, disadvantages, and certainly the applications. Sure. So a brush fan is your old standard fan, uh, copper commutator, brush material, brush is rubbing inside there. Uh, variable speed brushless fans are going to be more like an AC motor on the inside. They're a three-phase motor, uh, gives you full control of the variable speed. Big advantages are going to be lower power consumption, soft start, uh, higher performance, more power, and then really you're, you're able to control the fan speed. So what that relates to is you get a nice civil fan when you're driving around just cruising, but the fan performance is there if the vehicle starts to heat up. If you need the fan performance, it's there. Well, let's talk a little quickly on that and add the application because you both you still build both and the application is still there. Talk about what customer is going to go for a brushed, what customer is going to go for a brushless. Sure. So standard brushed fans are a lot of uh, applications where they need the fan to work right now. No matter what, I need the fan to work. Those are applications like uh, trophy trucks, ATVs, UTVs, things like that. Applications that use the brushless fans are more extreme environments, higher temperatures. Uh, they need the performance, higher performance. Um, it's also going to be things like um, high, mu high mud, water, vibration, things like that. So those, the brushless fans are basically going to be a better fan in every measurable way, but it's also going to be more, more intense on how to control the fan and drive the fan. And what's been the response inside the booth? I mean, people they don't realize how important the little things are. They build a motor, they build a transmission, they put coolers on it. Talk about what the advantage your system will have. The brushless fan is really going to give you more motor torque. So really what that equates to is being able to pull more airflow through a more restriction. And that's what really comes down to is when you're talking about higher temperatures or thicker radiators, radiators and AC condensers, the brushless fan is going to give you more performance through thicker restriction. But talk about how the lineup works with Spall because you have something for the entry guy all the way up to the hardcore. Yep, so basic brushed fan, you're talking uh, fan relays, standard control would be like a temperature switch on off control. It's a fairly inexpensive kit. When we go to a brushless fan, it's a more intensive kit. It's going to be a sensor controller as well as all the harnessing. We'll do the fan. There's no relays involved with the new kit. It's going to be just basically the sensor and the fan controlling each other. And what's the big advantage? I mean, I, I'm a guy that needs both in a lot of different applications. Is that part of your job, is to talk to these people and really kind of guide them through what's the right fan? Do you see that? Do people pick the wrong fan? Do they sometimes not realize they need more or even some cases need less? Absolutely, yeah. Sometimes you'll find out where, especially on air-conditioned cars, they'll undersize the fan and then they start running into problems where they don't get flow with through the heavy restriction. So with a brushless fan, you have the capability of kind of matching both of those two worlds together. You have the fan, it can be nice and quiet, it can give you flow, but if you need the more pressure or you need more flow through that radiator, the fan speeds up and then it will still be able to give you the performance that you need. All right, Brent, sounds like you've got it covered. Whether it's something on an inexpensive, maybe even a small day-to-day -day driver, all the way up to something like a trophy truck you talked about. If people want information, if they want to find your products, where do we send them? www.spallusa.com. You heard the man. Power Auto Media right here, SEMA 2018.